Working in the lab, seeing the biohazard bin being filled with the plastic disposables after one time use and gets discarded and that happens every day across like, you know, the whole industry was something that I uh, quickly recognized. It's not a sustainable practice, but also it's not a smart practice. It costs labs like, millions and millions of dollars. So I thought like there has to be a better solution. And that's when I start focusing on developing technologies that can wash and clean the plastic consumables for reuse purpose. And that's what inspired like, you know, development of the Granova and the name of Granova stands for Green Innovation, so the goal is to focus and address a solution for all plastic consumables. But right now we started with the pipette tips. Currently, like, you know, we have products that focus on like plastic consumables primarily on pipette tips. Um, and pipette tips, what is the, what I call the straw of the industry. Like every lab has, it's a, it's a tool that every lab uses because the process samples. And what we did in the last like seven years, we focus on maturing and perfecting like our solutions toward the pipette tips. And uh, by offering like, you know, a uh, complete solution means like not just the device, but also like everything that goes along, like, you know, of washing and reusing pipette tips, such as specific carriers, the carts to carry the dirty tips to the, to our systems, the cart that carries like, you know, the clean tips back to the lab, the storage unit that goes like, you know, okay, after the tips are being washed and clean, where do they get stored? When we're talking about like, you know, a solution, it's not just like, here's a device. It's like how the workflow needs to be. And that's, part of the complete solution that what Coronova focuses on like, you know, at, at, at all times. Our system is a very open platform that gives the flexibility to the customers be able to optimize the wash based on their needs. What I've seen, like, you know, what Coronova has gone through from like past seven years when the product was in, introduced at the beginning and everyone's like looked at it and says, this will never ever like, you know, be implementing in my lab to now like you know they're rolling out our products into their operation and we see like you know how much plastic waste is being reduced how much savings brought back to the labs i am very hopeful like you know that this is the journey that's just the start of like you know something new and over the next 10 years we're going to be looking at technologies that they don't have to move away from plastic consumables but the label disposable will be removed from the plastic and plastic will be treated just like you know glass and teflon we don't have to remove plastic. We don't have to get rid of plastic. Plastic is the best invention. But we just have to learn to like, you know, value it more and wash and reuse it, uh, which I believe like, you know, the industry will become sustainable on the plastic side across the board on recycling as well as washing and reusing. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on with Granova. Granova has now grown roots to be very uh, stable as a company and focusing on like more green technologies for the labs. Um, as I mentioned, like you know, uh, plates and micro tire plates, depot blocks. That's our new products we're focusing on. But we're also like you know, are now looking to expand our product line into other plastic consumables, cryo valves, test tubes, everything else. So the overall plastics, like you know, doesn't matter what shape they are, what material they are. Our technology is leading toward be able to clean them one by one and eliminate the full plastic waste. But one thing is also like, you know, we are, we are expanding beyond what the industry is operating today. And we are focusing on the next generation of the labbers that the industry hasn't fully 100% adopted yet or is underway. For example, like, you know, 1536 plates, something like, you know, that we see the future will be like, you know, those small plates but the industry hasn't fully adopted yet. But we are investing to be proactive and offer the solutions for labbers that they are not as actively present in the market right now, but they will be like, you know, 10 years from now. And like, you know, we just we always want to kind of like, you know, be a, try to be like, you know, ahead of the curve. So keep the industry as green as possible as soon as they start adopting these other new labbers.